I hope you guys have a snack with you because this vlog is filled with nothing but food. The first place that I went to was Zinc. This was the egg frittata with smoked salmon and it was so delicious. Definitely not the biggest fan of arugula. On this day, I went to Mastro's with one of my girlfriends. You know who you are. I love you so much. And I'm just so grateful for the bond that we've been able to create with each other and i'm just so grateful for her company every time she's here which is not that often but i'm really grateful that we get to spend so much time together whenever she is but we ended up going with a few little side dishes and then we both got the petite prime rib i believe or the ribeye and i just really love steak you guys that's like one of my favorite foods and i know they say like red meat is not exactly good for you but i was not craving a salmon or chicken or anything because i've actually been cooking it at home so i went ahead and got a glass of vouv and we also got a bottle of flat and some side dishes and then also the steak like i mentioned we also have a bread basket which is pretzel bread because that is the best kind of bread there and i absolutely love it you guys can see how much salt is on it which is crazy but the pretzel bread is literally like so delicious and it was so fresh as well so this top that i'm wearing is actually from yes style i did receive a few questions about it and i actually did post a photo on instagram i don't know if you guys saw that but i'll have it here so you guys can see but i did post a photo on instagram with it and i really liked it so i did wear this twice actually i wore it to bakari when i went recently and you guys i've just been eating out so much like i've been trying to cook at home which you guys will see in the in the next few clips that i did cook a little bit at home but i mean i can never say no to dinners right i just love eating out and it's just nice to get out of my apartment especially because it's pretty tiny and i try to take luna for a walk as well but i think she just prefers to go on the balcony because she's still a little scared so i'm just trying to train her with that i'm just like updating you guys right now but yes i am still in school i did get a lot of questions about that whether i dropped my classes or not and i think the drop period was already definitely passed so i wasn't able to drop my classes but i did end up just sticking with it and i'm just really trying to push through this quarter because or this semester rather i keep saying quarter but i am just trying to push through because you guys it's not easy like i went through so much this year already and i just feel like it was such a heavy load for me and i really did not think i could do it but i've been completing some assignments here and there i've been asking my professors for extensions one of my midterms got pushed back so i was so happy about that and i also have essays due so i've really just been trying to put myself in the mindset like just spend a few hours a day on homework and doing all of my schoolwork and then after that i can have free time and film and everything because like i said school was definitely one of my main priorities but i've just been trying so hard to find the motivation to continue because i don't know why but for some reason last semester it was just a lot easier i mean because i didn't have the stress of my apartment and i didn't have i wasn't like living alone so it was definitely a lot easier and i didn't have many things to take care of but now that i do i just feel like it's a little bit it's a little bit much but i think that's just all part of growing up and living on your own i think living on your own is definitely such a different experience than living with someone and going home to someone every day but i'm so grateful for the position that i'm in and that i'm able to have my own space with luna and just do everything that i want and it's just so like so much freedom so i really love that but here you can see i got another piece of pretzel bed pretzel bread can i speak because i'm a fat ass so i just went ahead and slathered it with the butter the butter is so good as well i really want to try making my own butter side note um i remember making it in first grade and i was just so excited and i think all we did was put it in a baby jar and we just shook it up and that was literally it but um i think it's so easy to make the pretzel bread has so much salt so you can see me just like taking it off but yeah i really enjoyed it and it was just nice to have good company and just a great dinner. The first thing to arrive was the French onion soup. This was actually a recommendation from a friend of a friend and I actually did not like it. I thought it was a little bit too salty for me and I did like the onion pieces but I think the broth itself, they actually put some croutons or like toasted bread or something in there and I did really like- this angle makes my nostrils look so big you guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> but they did put like some croutons or something in there which was i thought it was only okay but because of how hyped it was i was so excited for it and it's so disappointing when like it's just not what you expected so i don't really recommend it because it was just a little too salty for me i couldn't even finish it and i feel like nowadays i'm just like really sensitive to super salty foods so this was my petite ribeye, it's in the shape of a lips, which I thought was so cute, but they call it a butterfly. So of course we got french fries and the portions you guys were so big, like we didn't even finish the fries or the mushrooms. Uh, we could barely finish the steak, like I did not want to stuff myself, but I didn't finish my food. Well, actually I don't remember if I finished my food or not, but I just remember this was so much food. So definitely recommend to go and share with someone if you guys are getting side dishes because this can be a lot of food and but I did really enjoy it and I enjoyed every single moment of it, so no regrets. <laughs> This was just a no filter of me because someone asked for it because I always use filters but I mean if you're insecure with the hot filters I think that's a personal thing on this day we ran so many errands so we ended up just going back to her place and watching Real Housewives of Atlanta and having some sushi this dinner was so amazing it was so so yummy and so we got some steak some chicken garlic noodles this was anki which is a restaurant that's by crustacean and this was actually in costa mesa right next to the mall so you can see that there's dry ice and they're just making the ice cream right in front of us which i thought was so amazing and it was so cool these are all of the desserts that they had the pizuki some banana fritters and then they also had beignets which is like jacquai with powdered sugar it's the same thing um french invasion so so yeah, and they put like some, I don't know what that is, like I think they just put water on the dry ice, but it was super cool and just such a show and I really liked it, so yeah. On this day, my girlfriend and I decided to run errands, so we went to the Palm Coffee Bar first to grab some coffee, of course, and this place is super cute. They actually have a drink called the Harry Styles, and what they do is they actually put glitter and petals in their drink, so I think it's really cute. And then I got a chocolate croissant, but we actually wanted a ham and cheese, but they were already sold out, so my friend ended up getting a spinach one, and then I got the chocolate one. So that was just her drink. It was super cute. And then mine had the petals and glitter in it. I thought they were both super Instagram worthy. And that's what makes this place so cute is that like the drinks are just so pretty. I think it's a lot better before the pandemic because I think they just looked a lot prettier than in the to-go containers, but it's still cute. I still really liked it. And look at their sign. It says you can't, you can sip with us. So I thought that was super cute. And then we ended up going to the Glendale Galleria, which is like one of my favorite places ever now. I just love this place and it's so beautiful. You can see the cherry blossoms are blooming and they have so many cute stores in here. Urban Outfitters, Brandy Melville, Sephora. They have the Galaxy store, which I want to go into because I'm still thinking of getting the Galaxy Flip. And then they also had Nordstrom. I do wish that they had a Bloomingdale's there, but they don't. I can only find Bloomingdale's at Century City, I believe. But they had Nike, Nespresso. They have a lot of like your regular stores that I would normally shop at so i did really like that it was super cute and then we ended up going to h mart because we wanted to go get some groceries for dinner because she was going to cook that night and it was super yummy but we just went ahead and went to h mart and i will show you guys what i ended up getting later this was our dinner it was salmon with bok choy and i think she made a soy sauce and garlic seasoning so it was super good but that's that hi guys i wanted to do uh an h mart haul i know we're gonna have like two in this vlog right but I went today with uh, one of my girlfriends and I just want to show you guys what I ended up getting because I did get some things that I didn't actually show in the previous one. I have a huge bag with me, so let me just start off. I got these Yes Chips. It says that they're spicy. I really hope they are like super spicy because I just am like, I really like have been trying to find the perfect spicy chips, but there are spicy corn chips. I also got some onion rings that I actually ate. We were watching The Bachelor today. We had a little girls night. I saw these shrimp crackers with gochujang. So gochujang is not actually spicy. It's just like a, they call it like a spicy, spicy like chili paste. But to me, it's just not spicy at all. It's like actually more sweet than spicy. But I just wanted to try the shrimp ones. But these are my favorite shrimp crackers. Just the original, nong shrimp. And then my friend Da Hong actually also um, really likes this brand for shrimp chips. So yeah, I'm so sad she's like gone, but she'll be back soon. Then. 
I also got this ramen. This looks amazing. It looks so yummy. I hope that it's really, I'm just like, you guys, I've been in the mood for like really spicy foods. Like I wanna feel pain, okay? Like when I'm eating spicy foods and I really hope that this one is spicy enough. I also got more cuties cause I love those. I got two beef, um, beef bone flavored soup because I use these for kimchi jjigae or for like sundubu or for, what else do I use them for? Um, like just like other, I don't know, Korean dishes. Like I feel like this is like my favorite broth to use. Even if you just want like noodles like that, I think it's really great. So I got two more of those. I also had another yan yan, but I already ate that before dinner because I was just so hungry. So I got that. I got a wooden spoon for my rice. I got some more of the spicy tuna, the hot, Tuna with pepper, hot pepper sauce. This is my favorite one. It's sometimes on sale. You can find it for like $7.99 or for $6.99, like if it's a really good sale, but this one was only a dollar off, which is fine because I mean, I still, I still love this. Like it's still so good. Definitely one of my favorites. I also need a dish soap. And then I also got this anchovy packet. And then I got these two um, honey butter almond. Yeah, this is like my favorite. I actually, got this packet let me show you guys oh wait where is it i actually purchased the variety pack um a few a few weeks ago when i went with one of my other girlfriends and this one has like um cashews walnuts almond macadamia nuts um like a lot of different nuts if you will um and so this has a lot of like really good ones but i just am not like a huge fan of those you know like i just prefer I just prefer like the classic almonds. So I did just go ahead and purchase these, but they don't have the bigger packs in the almond in the almond only. So that's, I don't know, kind of sucks, but it's fine. So I just got these little ones. Oh, I also take these collagen pops too. I feel like some people have asked me about them before, but yeah, I have taken these before, like almost every day. And I have, um, each of them are 10. You're supposed to take them like every single day, but I don't know, it's pretty expensive. I think this is like $25 for this container. So like, it's pretty expensive, but anyway, honey butter almond. I got dishwashing gloves because I just didn't have any. I was going to get some from Daiso, but I was not trying to go to Daiso today. Just pink. Um, I definitely want to go to get some kitchen stuff, but just like I said, not today. And then I also got a pack of gloves. Like I just need these sometimes. Um, just when I'm eating certain things, not to technic not to necessarily like for COVID or anything. Um, this is just like what I need when wow, this is a lot of calories. 360 for this bag. I didn't expect that. But yeah, I just really like these for um like when I'm eating or if like I just really don't want my damn, I should have checked it before I just really don't want my fingers to smell like it to be honest <laughs> like whatever I'm eating even if it's chips I don't like licking my fingers after eating like my onion chips or anything so I just got that this next bag is just my stuff with cold perishables <laughs> let me show you guys um, okay so I got this oops sundubu uh, sun tofu kit extra hot i also got tupoki i didn't get any cabbage though so i'm kind of sad um i also got just a small little container of kimchi i realized i never really finished the big ones anyway um some bean sprouts so this is jajamyeon and um it says that there's two servings 330 which is not oh no four serving which is 330 so one packet is 660 so if i eat this in a day this would be my only meal and then i would have to have like a sweet potato later but it's fine because that's what i've been doing anyway um but yeah that's the packet so that's everything that i got from h mart this time around i usually try and get um these were just like room temperature okay so that is everything that i got this time around we shall continue the vlog because i don't even know where we were um but yeah i didn't get like that many things this time i feel like what I got was like pretty minimal. I wasn't like trying to get a lot because I was also going to my girlfriend's house afterwards. Like I wasn't coming straight home, so I couldn't really get that much, um, like that many perishables. But I'm really happy with like, what I was able to pick up. I just need to get like some cabbage. Um, I'm hoping they have that like at Whole Foods, cabbage and cucumber. So I'll probably get it over there and get like the organic one or whatever. But yeah, that was everything that I got for this haul.
먹었어. 아이, again, I got a nasty piece. This one smells fine. This is bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some olive oil on the salmon and then I'm gonna use Mrs. Dash again. And I'm just gonna leave this on the side until I'm ready to cook it. I'm actually gonna add some garlic to it.
Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. So today is Sunday, daylight savings happened today. I was like, I literally feel like I lost an hour of sleep and I did, so that's that. And I just got ready to go to brunch. I'm gonna go to Perch with one of my girlfriends and I'll show you guys my outfit right now. So I'm just wearing this like peplum top from Express. These are my Aritzia pants and then I'm gonna wear some little like heels. I'll show you guys. Luna likes the door open, so I have to leave it open for her. Kind of noisy though and then i'm just wearing this as a bag just because i like the way that it looked with my other outfit and yeah and then these are my accessories i get a lot of questions about my watch do i still love it yes i do this is an Ana luisa bracelet and then this is an Ana luisa necklace and then gorgina 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 i don't know <laughs> these are the earrings that i got from there they're so beautiful i want to get like the size up because there's another one that's it looks like it's the same style, but it's just like a little bit bigger. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my girlfriend to call the driver because she's going to come pick me up and then I'm going to call it on the way back. I don't know which trench coat to wear. I think I'm going to wear this one because it's not too thick. And oh, what if it's cold? I'll bring my scarf. So I really, really love this Burberry scarf. I have you guys on a tiny tripod, so. Okay, so. I've been I've been what the fuck am I saying? I've been listening to Giveon's um is that his name? Giveon? Giveon? Um his music and I really love it. Okay, so and then my Burberry scarf doesn't really go with me too much, but I, I literally wear this scarf all the time. But maybe I shouldn't wear yeah, I don't think I'm gonna wear it, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. Because I might take my coat off anyway. I literally do not take this poof off anymore because I'm so terrified that I'm just gonna lose it. So I just leave it on here all, at all times. And I prefer to have my bag chain on my bag, but because I'm wearing a smaller bag, because I'm not wearing this like crossbody like it normally is, I'm not gonna put it on here. So this is just like my shoe rack. I have like my everyday shoes here. I have like my downtown, this is what I call my downtown LA Supergas because they're so dirty and nasty and i just like wear those when i'm like running errands around downtown and then i have my wider slightly wider supergas these are like ones for like my dresses and stuff when i'm going to the west side and then i have my running shoes but i actually need different ones because my my arch is like collapsing so these are not good shoes for me to walk in for a long time even though i have been using them for as long as i have and then these this pair, I got it from Yes Style. This pair is from my best friend Judy. She got it for me for Christmas. She also got me these for Christmas and I really love them so much. I wore them once already. And then I have these also from Yes Style. And then these are just like my two basic heels, nude and black, that's all you need. And the heel is kind of messed up on this because I think I fell, I was probably too drunk. But yeah, so those are the only two heels that I use. Wow, you can see that this one's like kind of like not straight, but yeah, that's what I have here. I want to get a mirror to put here for like when I leave the house then I can have like a little like check myself before I leave. And this is just the pompous grass that I got from the flower district, but it's not too fluffy, which I like it though. I think it suits this area. So yeah, it feels super weird. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever because I have had like pre-filmed stuff and a lot of, I have like a few sponsored content that I actually have to get out before this video but i don't know if i'm gonna do that like i never do actually i don't really have much to update you guys on because there really is nothing going on um, i'm just kind of living my life and it's been really fun i've been really happy and like just excited i don't really have much going on i do have a like study guide thing that i have to do on tuesday for my class but i also have my vaccine my first vaccine on tuesday i'm getting moderna so i'm really excited to finally get vaccinated because i've been wanting to travel and i just am like itching to go somewhere and i know that it's not like i mean that's obviously not like the sole reason it's just to keep my family safe and my grandparents but i just am so happy that i'm finally getting it and i cannot wait to get the second one i think my second one is scheduled for mid april so i hope it doesn't interfere with my my new year stuff because if it does i'm gonna be really sad because they say that you're in bed for like two days yeah i'm really excited that i can finally get it and i think on tuesday i'm actually gonna get the vaccine and then i think i'm gonna be in the palisades for the rest of the day um in west la and so because of that, I don't think, um, I think I'm just gonna have like Luna, um, her kitty feeder and stuff. And then I'll probably come home later that day. Probably just have dinner in Santa Monica. So that's what I think I'm gonna do on Tuesday, but we'll see. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope that you guys enjoyed the little segment part, but 
I actually just switched to this bag because I love it a lot more and I think it's cuter for my outfit. This is just a purse from Yes Style. I'll try to find it and link it for you guys, but I love it so much. It's so cute. And I just wanted like a darker brown bag today, so I'm going to take this one. For brunch, like I said, we were going to Perch. This one is located by Pershing Square in downtown LA, and it's super cute. I highly recommend this place for like a rooftop um, a rooftop brunch and it was so so cute and I can't wait for our next brunches because you guys We already have like so many places planned to go eat because it's gonna be springtime and the weather is gonna get so much better So I'm really excited about that. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted But I ended up going with the French toast the view is also so beautiful Just all of downtown LA all of the buildings and everything I really wish that we had more taller buildings, but this will do we also got some drinks She got a Bloody Mary and then I got a berry drink I believe and it was actually Actually really good but I wish it was a little bit stronger I think after this our drinks ended up being a lot stronger so we did have another one but I don't think that I vlogged it so I probably forgot to put that in and then this was my French toast it was actually really different it was like a thin kind of I don't know it was a thin crepe almost but it was so good and then turkey sausage as well again we just enjoyed our meal and good company and it was just such a good time and the weather couldn't have been better i mean actually it could have <laughs> it could have been a little bit sunnier but it was still really great so we're making balloons for the bachelor finale let's see if i can do this okay Here you guys can see we are just blowing up balloons and my friend is so funny she loves having balloons for every occasion but it also really just sets the vibe and i just really love it i think it's so cute and we ended up doing some rose gold balloons and then some pink ones she chose all of this on her own and she also has like a balloon machine that like blows them up and it's really cool just to have them laying around and it was just so like vibey and like so aesthetic so it was really cute and i really enjoyed it and then we also took some photos with the ring which i thought was well i did not her but we were so excited for the finale but very disappointed with the results so boo i just i don't know you guys let's talk a little bit of bachelor okay matt james what I don't even think he was ready to be on The Bachelor, to be honest. I feel like he needed to go to therapy first and then go to The Bachelor and deal with the stuff with his dad on his own. He definitely did mention like the stigma between black dads, but if you already knew that, then why did you go and publicize it on national television? I just didn't really understand that, but I feel like, I don't know, they just needed some drama or something for the show, but it really wasn't all that, and I'm not really happy with the Bachelorette picks either, so there's that. That's my opinion. First season, this is the first time I've watched The Bachelor, and I've only watched it, like, I watched it halfway. I didn't even watch the whole thing, so yeah, that's my two cents. <laughs> <gasps> I think so. It feels like a party, right? Yeah. And then we'll get it on the champagne. Yeah. Oh. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay, dessert? Okay, I'm gonna get the chairs. How about chairs for the um, I, do you guys have the lavender latte? Latte here? Yeah. Um, oh, I'm, I'm not ready yet. She's not ready yet. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. I don't see it. Oh, coffee, tea, and dessert. Oh, I'm gonna get a hazelnut latte. What are you gonna get? <laughs> <laughs> Are you booking to go to your other home? Yeah. I thought it was more layers. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 
I think we would have been colder. Yeah? Yeah. My friend actually showed me this cafe. It's super cute, really cozy vibes, and it was in the middle of Cape Town, and I really liked it. She actually knows a few other cafes that she said we should go to, so I'm really excited for that, but this one was super cute. I got a hazelnut latte, and then she also got a lavender one, and then we also got tiramisu, and the tiramisu was so delicious, you guys. In the photo, it looks like they used to give more, but I think they cut it down, but nonetheless, it was still good. I would definitely get a piece to take home next time because it was just that yummy, and I would definitely definitely like to enjoy this in the comfort of my own home. After that, we went to Quisados and this was a taco spot. I don't know exactly where it was. I feel like it's in Glendale or like between Gil but what? <laughs> between Glendale and downtown LA so I'm not exactly sure what the location is but this these were some of the drinks that they had and it was actually really good I got the horchata one and I really liked it and then they had like an outside patio which was super super cute and really like EDM vibes I feel like <laughs> but the horchata was super super yummy and the tacos were really good so I would highly recommend this place and I really liked it and they also have a habanero um the habanero salsa and that was also really good too too long ago i'm just getting ready to hop on my peloton and then i have my yoga mat right here it's a little bit dirty i should clean it but i'm just going to turn this light on a bit um but i'm going to do some ab workouts right after i'm done on the peloton if i honestly feel like it because i feel like i stuffed myself a little bit too much and i probably had too much to eat but the tiramisu was so 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 freaking yum um but i really just want to get in a workout today even if it's just like a short I don't know like 10 minute workout um but I, it's not gonna be 10 minutes i'm gonna do like 45 minutes on the peloton and then if i still feel like going i'll do another 45 but yeah i'm not sure but i know I'll at least do 45 minutes so and that's like 180 calories um so it's just better than nothing but i feel like i really just need to like exercise a bit even though i'm not really walking i'm on like the bike i renewed my membership so like i really need to like get on it <laughs> and like start doing it so yeah, I renewed my membership on um, Wednesday, so I need to like get my day's worth. So I've only been going, I missed yesterday, um, so I'm gonna go on today and yeah, <laughs> that's the plan. I'm gonna watch Love Alarm also, and I'm so tired of Love featuring Marriage and Divorce, like I'm so sorry I recommended that. It's good like in the first few episodes, but after that it just got annoying, so yeah. <laughs> 